If you are thinking about investing in a landing page software or a CRM or something to basically help you run your business, and you're looking at all the different options out there, especially as a beginner, someone with a small business or someone who is a solopreneur, you are probably wondering if go high level is worth it because it is not perfect for everyone. It's not going to be the right choice for everyone out there, but it might be the right choice for you. So keep watching if you want to know that. And also, if you appreciate me making this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump into it right now. So first of all, what exactly is Go High Level? Well, you can think of it as an all-in-one marketing platform. It combines your CRM, email automation, funnel builder, landing pages, and many, many more things all into one. Basically, everything you need to run an entire small business is all in one place. Just as an example, they have a document signing software, so you don't even need to sign up to something like DocuSign because your documents can get sent out all in the Go High Level platform. And that really is the big sell here because most businesses have like at least 10 different software tools that they use to run their business. And with Go High Level, you don't need a bunch of tools. No more juggling 10 different software subscriptions every single month. Go High Level tries to replace all of them at once. Now, here's where it gets really interesting for small businesses, agencies, coaching programs, etc. You can build campaigns for your clients inside of Go High Level, right? So if you're a B2B business, you're a business that works with other businesses, then you can actually just white label or build your own campaigns inside of the platform. And that means you could create custom software that's designed to be a CRM for landscaping businesses or pet grooming businesses, etc and you basically just slap your own branding on it and use the tools that are best for those specific types of businesses. Now, over the years, they've added tons of features. They've added AI tools, more integrations, automation upgrades, you name it. And in 2025, it's basically a beast of a platform. But here's the thing that people debate about Go High Level. Is it a tool that replaces many tools or is it a tool that tries to do too much? Some people love the consolidation and they think it's genius. Others feel like it's overwhelming and doing too much. So that's the big question that we're answering today. Now, by the way, if you wanna check Check out Go High Level, see what features it has, see what the price is, et cetera, for what you want. Just go ahead and click the link in the description in the pinned comment below, and it'll take you directly to the page. Now, first of all, what exactly is new in 2025? Because the platform hasn't just been sitting still this whole time. First up, AI powered capabilities are everywhere now. They've added auto content generation for your campaigns, AI chat features to handle customer conversations automatically, and AI powered follow up automations that feel more human. And if you're into automation, this is huge. Now, are the AI features as good as hiring a actual human being who's really good at the job to do it themselves? No, they're not as good as someone who's actually really good at their job. But are they better than just not responding to your customers at all? Yeah, it's definitely a lot better than that. And let's be honest, Honest, most small businesses out there don't have time to respond to every single customer. Next, integrations have gotten way better this year. They now work smoother with Zapier and Pably, and webhooks are more reliable for connecting custom tools together. But here's the catch. Some users still complain. They say certain integrations are limited or missing entirely, so it's better, but it's not perfect yet. Now, the white label and agency features are still really strong. Branded dashboards look more professional than ever. Client sub accounts are easier to manage and set up. And if you're an agency, this is still the main draw. Well, let's talk about the interface and learning curve. Now, one of the things you can do with Go High Level, which I think is really cool, is if you work with a certain type of client, you can actually set up landing pages for them. So you can set up a landing page that you know converts really well in whatever niche you're in, and then you can just give that landing page to the client, which is a super big value add for them. Plus, you can basically just make a business in the box and hand them a fully functional business that doesn't require dozens or hundreds of hours of integrations and making sure that this software is communicating with this software, etc. Now, is it perfect? Absolutely not. But they have made some improvements to make it less confusing. But honestly, the learning curve is still pretty steep, but it's no steeper than what it would be if you had 10 different software. And they have exceptionally good customer service. They basically have a 24-7 Zoom call that you can log into where you will immediately get routed to somebody who can help you with whatever problem you have. And they can look at your screen. They can even take over your screen if you want them to and just fix the problem for you. So no more getting on the phone with two different companies and they're both blaming each other. And then you end up staying on the phone all day just to get a minor issue fixed. But when looking at the reviews online, a big issue that keeps coming up is the email deliverability and SMTP challenges. So if you're heavy on email outreach, this can be frustrating. So some users report emails going to spam more often, 
or hitting limits faster than they expected. So yeah, Go High Level has evolved, but it's not flawless. Now let's talk about the pricing and ROI. Go High Level offers tiered plans, usually called Starter and Unlimited. And you can get started for $97 a month. And that is incredibly cost effective, considering that if you had all 10 of the other tools that do the functions that Go High Level does, you'd be paying thousands of dollars a month. And this is exactly what's happened in my business before. I've even had my software costs go all the way up to over $5,000 a month. DocuSign alone is $99 a month. You can get started with Go High Level at their entry level plan for $97 a month. So it's extremely cost effective. But with that being said, the ROI really depends on your business model here. If you're an agency charging clients $1,000 plus a month, then Go High Level pays for itself easily because you make more money. And although those other 10 tools together, if you took all the hundreds of hours it's probably going to take to set them up and really optimize them, likely would do a little bit better than Go High Level overall. The simplicity of just having everything in one platform, in my opinion, for many small businesses out there and solopreneurs, definitely makes it worth it. All right, next is pros and strengths. Because I'm trying to basically show the good and the bad here. I'm trying to be, you know, unbiased. Even though I am an affiliate for Go High Level, so if you click the link in the description in the pinned comment below to check it out and you end up buying it, I will get a small cut of the sale, right? So I'm partnered with them. With that being said, they allow me to be unbiased. And so I'm just giving my honest opinion about it. First, consolidation is the number one selling point. You don't need to juggle a CRM, email tools, funnel builder, etc. Landing pages, automation, all of it lives in one place. And that saves you a massive amount of time. And it saves you a lot of headaches. And honestly, it saves you a ton of money too. Next, the white label capabilities are massive depending on what type of business you're in. You see, you might have absolutely no idea how to make a landing page for your business. But chances are there's a ton of other people that have already made really good landing pages for whatever business you're in. And you can just type that into Go High Level and you can see all the different options for already made landing pages that'll save you a ton of time making a really good landing page that'll actually convert. And that's just one example of what you can do with their white label features. So just as an example for my clients, I've actually already created a bunch of different types of landing pages for different types of products that they could sell. And in one or two clicks, that landing page is theirs. And 30 minutes later, they've customized it for them and their own business. I remember when I first started making landing pages back in the day, I would spend an entire week making one single landing page. And now people can make a pretty good landing page that's probably better than the one that took me an entire week in less than an hour. So yeah, that's pretty good. So Go High Level is an all-in-one platform, but it's also kind of a marketplace as well, where a lot of different landing pages and templates and workflows, etc., can be shared. And once you know the system, you can move quickly. And the community and the templates are incredibly helpful. And there's tons of support, Facebook groups, YouTube tutorials, and templates that you can buy. And the knowledge ecosystem is mature, and it's actually really helpful. And for automation, funnels, lead flows, workflows under one roof, Go High Level is one of the most mature options available. And it's been around long enough to iron out many of the bugs. So if you need a robust all-in-one solution, it absolutely delivers. Okay, but now let's talk about the cons, the weaknesses, and the risk. Because Go High Level is far from perfect. First, the steep learning curve is no joke. Many users say figuring out workflows and automations is overwhelming. But to be fair here, it would also be overwhelming. In fact, it would be more overwhelming if you were using like 10 different tools out there. So generally speaking, setting this kind of thing up is going to take some time no matter what tools you use. With that being said, they have very good customer service and they can help you set it up. Second, Go High Level is not going to always have the best in class tools. Just as an example, their text messaging feature is quite good. However, their email marketing feature isn't going to be the best for every business out there. We still use Active Campaign for email marketing because we think it's the best in class. And finally, integration gaps still exist despite improvements. Some users say it's less flexible than some of the best in class tools. And if you need specific niche integration, it might not exist. And the truth is, a lot of the other companies out there don't really like Go High Level because they see how powerful it is and they see how much of a good tool it is and they see how Go High Level is taking over a lot of the market share. So they're not exactly ecstatic about integrating with Go High Level, who's basically an existential threat to their existence. So sometimes the integrations are not going to work smoothly. With that being said, Go High Level is rapidly improving their product and they're fixing a lot of those issues. Now, let's talk about comparisons and alternatives. If you are a bigger business, let's just say you have over 100 people in your business, chances are something like HubSpot would likely be better than Go High Level, right? HubSpot is more polished in many areas. They've been around for a lot longer and they can handle more complicated business needs. However, they are still a bit weaker when it comes to funnel building and Go High Level's funnels are actually quite good. Next, for very niche types of businesses, you might just consider using all of the best in class tools. Just as an example, if 
if you do Facebook ads and you have very tiny margins, let's just say you're only making like 5% profit. If you have all of the best in class tools, that might help you make a couple extra percent in profit versus using go high level. And that might make all the difference for you. However, in that case, you're likely going to have to have like a full time IT team and you're going to have to be constantly making sure that the softwares integrate together correctly. Next, let's talk about when it's worth it. So here's my verdict on go high level in 2025. Is go high level worth it? The answer is, of course, as with anything else in life, it depends. Yes, go high level can be worth it, especially for agencies, small businesses, coaching programs, etc. So if you are a solopreneur, you have a small business, you have an agency with 50 or less people or a coaching program with less than 50 people on your team or some type of business that's similar to that, like an info product business, go high level is a really good choice. It'll probably save you a massive amount of time, effort and money. So yeah, agencies, marketers, consultants, business owners, like small business owners, people who need automation at scale and want everything centralized. This is who go high level is for. So yeah, if that's you, go ahead, click that link in the description in the pinned comment below. Definitely check them out. Consider if they're going to be the right choice for you and your business. We recommend go high level to pretty much all of the clients we have. We typically do work with agencies, coaches, and small business owners that are trying to grow and make money on YouTube. And we always recommend go high level to them, especially if they have a small team. Now, if somebody came to us with a really big team, we'd probably recommend something else. But go high level is usually a very solid solution. And in some cases, they'll keep some of the other best in class tools, but then they'll just integrate them with go high level. Now, by the way, if you want to check out some of the really cool AI stuff that go high level is doing, because some of the stuff they're doing with AI is just absolutely out of this world, then click this video right here.